We're going to take a quick look at the Mobile Police Assist Vehicle Inspection Form. This form is completed typically at the start and end of every shift. So at the start of shift, we're going to go ahead and set this up for Officer 100. That'll be Officer Gary. Uh, we have a portable radio that's installed in the vehicle after we've set this up the first time. That'll be stored. The vehicle also has a number. We're in vehicle 201. We're on the day shift today. The mileage kilometers at the start of the shift. The interior condition of the vehicle is good. And as we come down, we can see if there's any damage on the vehicle, we can fill it in front, right, left, rear, top. And the applicable items that should be in the vehicle as we start the shift we're going to make note of the fact that the flares and the spare tire are not present in the vehicle and then we'll go ahead and save that. This form has now been saved and that takes care of the status of the vehicle before we started our shift. We'll go ahead and close that off. Now we've gone through our 12 hour shift and it's the end of the day for us and we're coming back to this and we're going to complete the finish shift. Along the way we're going to go ahead and indicate that we've added some fuel. So what did we add? 22 liters. What was the cost? $25. And what was the mileage or the odometer reading when we did that? We'll go ahead and save, save that fuel information. So returning to the finish of shift form, we're now coming in and completing the rest of the information at the end of our shift. What was the odometer reading at the end of the shift? How many kilometers did we travel? And what was the interior of the vehicle at the end of the shift? Also good. And what's the time when we are completing this? We're now finding ourselves completing this at 11.45 at night, just before we go off at midnight. Um, was there any damage to the vehicle over the course of our shift? No. And was there any additional information? How about a little bit of pulling to the right? With that all done, we're going to go ahead and submit this form and we get an indication that the vehicle inspection report has been successfully submitted. And after we do that, we go ahead and get back a cleared form and close that out and the next folks who are going to be coming on duty are going to go and update that themselves.